Hello everyone. Welcome back to DC Conversations. We are back with yet another guest. And guess who is the guest today? Today we have with us Seerat Kapoor, the most beautiful actress. She's also done music video and she's also a choreographer. So let's meet her. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. So tell us, uh, how did you land your first uh, Telugu movie? Well, it wasn't uh, something that I planned. Um, I believe there was a casting director in Hyderabad who happened to stumble upon a Facebook photograph of mine and uh, she ended up sharing it with UV Creations who was on the hunt for a fresh face. Um, and that's it. I get a call. Uh, I had no idea. There was people scouting at that point. Uh, very little did I know at that point about, you know, the industry. Uh, so I flew in, did an audition and it all worked out fab. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, you worked with Sharwan and earlier and you're working again. Yes. Have you noticed any big change uh, in terms of his acting style? And well, in a great way. There is always a change and he's an artist who's always constantly adapting and trying to, you know, embrace his new sides. Uh, uh, this year round, I think it was a very fresh take to his personality. He's also been through so many, uh, you know, processes in his personal life. As we know, he's recently gotten married. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, working with him was always very natural. It's never something that we had to plan. Sometimes you need to create an atmosphere to get the chemistry right. But with Sharva, it was like... Their instant, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what's your role exactly in uh, Sharwana movie? Well, I cannot reveal too much. Uh, okay. I have signed, uh, uh, yeah, an NOC. Yeah. But uh, what I would like to say that she's a breath of fresh air, and okay. uh, she's someone who would uplift, uplift anybody's uh, spirit, uh, which was great. It was it was great to kind of attract a role, especially after the pandemic and everything that we've been through. Yeah. Uh, and there's so much negativity, or you know so much animosity sometimes you're surrounded with but to have a voice that just kind of evens it all down is um, is is a great a great opportunity okay what about the dilraju production akasham tandi was again cannot reveal too much okay. but uh, as people already know it's a dancer's uh, character and uh, it's something that is very close to my heart because before i even found acting as my calling i was already training with uh, western form be it ballet, funk, hip hop, street jazz and uh, this is the first film where I'm actually showcased and presented in that light um, so I'm eagerly awaiting uh, you know to to release this movie as much as my audience has been after me to do you know a character which kind of uh, portrays the side of me. Yeah, you also done the music video with Bacha right? That's true yes yeah, yes tell yes. Tell us about that. It was a fab experience I mean working with Bacha in such a large scale environment we in fact shot that here in Hyderabad so in many ways I've been doing work but it's still kind of getting me back to where I began. Um, it was fantabulous because uh, I think one, the way they shot me, uh, the way I was presented and uh, there was a bit of dance involved as well. Uh, it was really nice. It was lovely working with him. He's a very uh, team kind of a person, you know, so the bonding there was very strong. So you worked, uh, you've established yourself in the South and yeah. then you work in Bollywood as well. Yes. So how did the transition happen? Well, it's a transition from an audience point of view or someone watching it. But uh, for people who know me very well, they know that I've always resided in Bombay all my life. It was actually a transition coming here to Hyderabad. It was the other way around. Uh, but I believe, you know, everything has its own time. And... Um, I'm, uh, I don't see a difference if you ask me, so to speak. They're just two different languages, but creative teams are always trying to bring in forward uh, the best that they can uh, to the pulse of the audiences uh, that they want to address. Every genre is different, we all know that. Um, so I think uh, overall it's been great and uh, I'd love to continue doing more languages, explore uh, you know, more, uh, more different kinds of myself. Okay, so 
Telugu, you are able to speak in Telugu and dub for your role? Sorry, yes. I have attempted to dub, but yeah. again, it depends completely on your character. Uh, sometimes they want it as local as it can be. Yeah. Uh, but in the roles that I'm recently playing, there is a genuine effort, uh, you know, that I've always put in in all my characters. I've always had my lines myself. But I leave that to the director and the team to yeah. decide because at the end of the day, if you lose that connection through the character, then that's where it may not work. And I understand that from the dance background that I've come in. There's a lot of theater involved. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of production involved. So I don't cross question that at all. Uh, but in my upcoming movies, um, hopefully you'll hear my voice. Yeah. So, but you can follow <laughs> the language and speak. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So being an actress, you know, brings you a lot of fame and all that. Mm -hmm. What's the worst part about it? I don't think there's a worse. I think there's a perception that's involved. I think uh, every job that, you know, you take up uh, entails a good and a bad. It's important to embrace both sides and not be hung up on only the good. Uh, and I think if you have that majority to understand it, then it's just part and parcel of the process and uh, things get a little lighter, you know, in the mind. Um, it's great being an actor. You get to express yourself in so many different ways, especially in times today. I personally love singing. I've also had a music uh, album release with Jackie Bagnani this year uh, where I'm singing as well in the in the song. So uh, yeah, I, I see it as an expression of different mediums and there's so much uh, love that comes in from the audience which is uh, so rare. Otherwise you don't meet too many people. It's a point of appreciation. It keeps you going and, uh, and that's what keeps me thriving. And not many know that you're a great classical singer. <laughs> That's true. They'll find out. I think with the first drop, they, they had a hint. Um, although musicians who I've interacted with and met, just by the way you speak and your tonal uh, voice quality, yeah. Yeah. they kind of catch you there, you know. Uh, so like that, I think I've been blessed. I've been around some lovely people and um, each one of them have seen my strengths and uh, that I feel is, is a very big blessing. Is there a musician uh, you want to collaborate with? Oh, there are so many. I've only begun. Uh, but for me, again, it's not about doing quality. It's always about presenting the best that I can in, uh, you know, different ways. So uh, the script needs to be right. The narrative needs to be right. And of course, when you talk about music, then it should sync with my natural abilities. Yeah. Um, otherwise, there's no end to doing everything you can do uh, but there are so many I wouldn't want to name one uh, at this point but yeah I'd love to work with A.R. Rahman, uh, Vishal Dadlani and, uh, and and people of such Salim uh, Suleiman of such caliber yeah so is there a song that you actually sing when you're uh, you know stressed or something like some one of your favorite go-to songs uh, there isn't Can one that I think us? it's very moody um, very very moody depends on you know I'm always in a zone when you're acting I'm in a different zone uh, when I'm dancing I suddenly go back rewind it to those 10 years I put in just with training um, and uh, otherwise for my mood I prefer upper beats because I like to believe I'm a bit of an emotional person so yeah. I take a lot to soothing music or melodies uh, but my personality kind of speaks the other way around I don't know how that works but it is a fact um, and then there's this dancer side to me right which enjoys beats so it's it's a bit of an amalgamation of, uh, of everything yeah so between the choreography and singing and uh, acting which one do you enjoy the most all and I believe there's a little bit of each in every uh, one yeah. that you mentioned. Um, they can't be acting if you're not feeling. Uh, and likewise, that you know follows with dance and with music. So I think the one common element in all of that would be emotion. Um, but of course, your uh, you know your medium changes. It's your voice or your body. And acting actually, as much as you just think it's the face, it's not. It's still your body language. It's the character. Yeah. It's the swag. It's so much more than that yeah okay so uh, this is a one uh, liner thing mm -hmm. so one word that describes you best according to me yeah love <laughs> okay your favorite telugu co-star favorite you guys always put me through this uh, i won't say favorite but, but probably special somebody you yeah special yes special would be sharva because my journey began with him and it's completed a whole life circle now that i'm doing another movie with him um, yeah, Sharva. <laughs> and who are the actors on your wish list? 
too many. Hindi and Tollywood together too many. I've mentioned it time and time and again. Alu Arjun is somebody I've been really wanting to work with. We have way too many things in common um, in Hindi. Uh, Ranveer Kapoor, Ranveer Singh. Uh, it'll be great to collaborate with uh, them and many more in the industry. So why do you like Alu Arjun so much? You watch Pushpa? Well, I've known him personally. Okay. Uh, we've all seen him as this dynamic energy on screen, but uh, few get the opportunity to know him on a personal level and uh, I think he's one of the most humble people that I've come across despite the stardom. Uh, he makes you feel comfortable, he makes you feel like you're good in your own zone um, and uh, so I'm, I'm more of a quality person versus uh, you know work. I can't plan things like that. If I take to someone emotionally or if I connect to their uh, you know qualities then uh, that draws me towards them. Okay, so there's also a lot of, uh, in the OTT space has opened up Yeah. versus the big screen. Yes. Which one do you prefer? I Are like both. OTT? I am actually shooting two OTTs as we oh, speak. Awesome. Um, so I, I think it's great, uh, you know, uh, as, as an artist, if you're able to find different platforms to play different characters because both have their pluses, they both have their limitations. And it's like a nice crisscross, you know, things that you can do on OTT, you can't necessarily do on a theatre scale. Yeah. Um, so I see it as a positive and I'm really enjoying both the processes. As far as filming goes, there's no difference. You still feel like you're on a film set, you're working as hard, maybe even longer. Yeah. Um, and it's great. I think there's a there's a creative uh, you know, push that we have with the OTT platforms, which I love. I love that. Okay, so if there's one thing that you want to change about yourself, what would that be? Nothing. Zero. I like me with all my flaws. I like me with all my strengths. Uh, so I wouldn't want to change anything as much as I'd want to keep growing and keep my mind open um, and not let, you know, the heaviness of life take over. Okay, what happy makes and you positive. happy? Yeah, what makes you happy? It's my uh, family first, uh, my selective friendships with people. Um, uh, humanity, animals, nature, travel, music, dance. Uh, yeah, I think uh, just we take life for granted sometimes, but uh, I think if we find uh, the simplicity in things, then there's just a moment of joy where you are. You don't have to look or seek for it. Yeah. So you must keep visiting Hyderabad. You, know? yes. you must have come on. I'm almost like living here now. <laughs> That's how it is. So what do you like about the city? I love the people here. I think they're very grounded, very down to earth, and everyone, uh, you know, on set, off set, uh, they're very warm. Um, so I think each one of us, no matter what we're doing, we want to end up having, you know, a good time, uh, and that I think is amazing here. You really meet some lovely people here. Uh, the food here is great. Yeah, um, what's your favorite? I love biryani. Okay. I love the biryani here. And then there's a buffet, right? On set also, there's a breakfast. And the first time I remember I was shooting, I was like, I'm used to one thing only. And here there was like a line of dosa, idli, pongal, and yeah. it just goes on and on. Um, but it's really, it's really lovely, uh, you know, to wake up to something that you enjoy doing, and uh, and then also be pampered like this along the way. <laughs> you like South Indian food? Absolutely, I love it. I'm a foodie. I like to believe that, okay. and um, I I try my best to experiment with different cuisines uh, most of the time. My dad was a hotelier, so I think that's where it comes in from. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's fun. <laughs> so is there a place here? I mean, a hotel or a hangout that you want? Always, you must visit when you're in Hyderabad. You know, right now things are growing so rampantly here in Hyderabad. Every other day, there's another restaurant opening, there are pubs opening. So uh, there's not one anymore. You know, there are so many places to explore, and I think the Hyderabad crowd is great with its energy. They've just been like on the hunt to find like the next cool place to be at. Yeah. Uh, Sanctuary is one place that I really enjoy go to because um, it's great ambiance. You sometimes have you know the best music uh, the crowd's great and uh, the food's yum so yeah I'm, I'm more about the company than you know the place and, and a little bit of art and interior around me and I'm good <laughs> that's nice so what next after this well uh, there's a lot releasing there are four projects that you will see of me um, next year 
Uh, I would like to take a little bit of a break because I've been shooting back to back all year long, keeping quiet about it. Uh, so maybe this uh, new year, I'd like to give myself a little me time and bounce back Jan onwards with something fresh, something non-anticipated by anybody. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> all the best. Hey guys, this is Seerat Kapoor. Please do follow Deccan Chronicle on all the social media platforms. You have Insta, Facebook, Twitter. Be by their side and I'm sure they'll help you with the best of entertainment and information.